Scorpio, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. This is a message for Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising sign. That right there is you. That right there is awakening. Just the beginning, but it's an awakening to the newest version of yourself or an awareness that you've had. Maybe you were in the dark about something and you were about to discover what that is. Scorpio, this is an energy reading, so please take it where and how it resonates in your life. It is your message. This is a timeless message, so it comes to you when it's meant to. There's no exact date. You call it in when you're open and receptive to hearing it or to needing it for it to help you. Um, if you're looking for a personal reading, I do do those. Please check out my website, bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. Um, and you can find everything over there. You book and schedule at your convenience. There are lots of different services to choose from. We're going to leave that there. Scorpio, if you have not yet, we're going to leave that there. If you have not yet um, subscribed to the channel, please do. Now, subscribe to the channel. Ring that notification bell. Select all notifications so that you know when I upload your favorite content. You see I have new surroundings, right? I haven't even set up anything behind me yet, but I have moved again. And so here we go on a next adventure, Scorpio. Let's go. God, what are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign? There's change coming into your life. And I think you're just starting to realize that that's the case. That change is going to be necessary. And once again, this week doesn't seem to be the week where you're... It doesn't seem to be the week where you're actually making these big, huge moves. But Scorpio, um, it does look in the coming weeks like you're going to have to embrace a change. Once again, this doesn't mean, this could be a very good thing. This could be, yeah, things are gonna, things are gonna start shifting and moving. But right now, let's, let's start where we began. A rebirth is assured, Scorpio. Awakening to um, the need, the need to do things differently or not do things differently. Awake, uh, having an awareness. And, and awakened things are shifting things are changing maybe inside of you coming out of the dark or being ready to sort of emerge from a slumber could be a spiritual slumber could have been like um a physical slumber like a hibernation of sorts some sort of opening and then we have showing to us we have embrace the in-between so embrace the in-between is all about economy it's all about we don't know what's coming and so it's not a, like brace yourself or a warning but it's like let's let's prepare ourselves let's let's know that there are going to be shifts coming and let's prepare not necessarily for the shifts because we might not know what those shifts are right but let's be smart and let's be a little bit conservative in where we're in where we're pushing ourselves let's get into this card clear out the clutter so right now this week i think what you're awakening to is what you've got to get rid of and there is a confirmation here that you have to release something especially emotional and because this is cancerian energy it could very well have to do something with family doesn't have to be bad things it's not neither good nor bad it's just time to clear out the clutter and leave something behind and clear out the clutter also means lightening your load so 
so that you can be more agile and flexible is almost like you know you you can feel it like you can feel the tornado coming and you're like you're like locking up the hatches like you're preparing for something that's on its way we've got to dig into what's on its way but the statement is is clear in that you should be preparing okay and now we have now is a lucky time so this is about abundance this is a shift right this is a sense of things are starting to multiply and maybe multiply quickly this could even be pregnancy rabbits a lot of times for me are are pregnancy a multiplication of you of you and your spouse so there's this sense of i know things are going to shift and there's an excitement here there's an anticipation there's not necessarily an expectation but there is an anticipation oh we have two cards we have give with gratitude and grace and this and that are true so you've been very kind and receptive to another person's point of view you've been open and receptive to um their side of the story also to keeping things light so this is this is about generosity of spirit maybe lightheartedness very open like openness it could even be open flirtatiousness like too willing to to giving whatever it is there was, there was this openness to being playful, seeing things from a different, like not taking things too seriously or being too extreme. There is this openness and moderation here not too long ago. And then we have lay a solid foundation a little back than that. So lay a solid foundation is a Virgo energy. It is about day-to-day -day work. Um, and it's about deciding to take things slow at a healthy pace, at a pace that you can maintain. This would have been a little while ago. I know we just had a full moon in Virgo. I wonder if it started around then, but this could be all the way back to, this could be further back than that. So lay a solid foundation, give with gratitude and grace. This and that are true. It's almost like you wanted to set an example or had an example set for you to be very diplomatic about something. And now there's an awakening here that you need to let go and release maybe some of that, too much of that, or whatever you accumulated during that phase in your life that doesn't really work. And now is a lucky time because it's almost like, oh, Scorpio, you had to, pl to play it real diplomatic and you had to play it real, real like um, kind of open or an easier going than you normally are. Um, but now things are starting to multiply. So you don't have to do that anymore. You know, there's a, there's a sense of you don't have to be that economic. Um, embrace the in-between, but you still are. So there was learning here. This sense of you know how to get through this. You know how to get through this shift, right? And and ultimately, you kind of still are. You're realizing that that things are starting to multiply and, and something is getting walked away from. Something is getting left behind. It could even be you. You could even be realizing that somebody's doing this to you. So there's just this energy of, of bracing yourself but in a prepared way like you're prepared to to know that there is a shift so let's talk about that shift Scorpio let's talk about that shift let's talk about that shift Scorpio okay so we have the Sun card so that shift is confirmed now that shift is all about happiness that shift is all about success. That shift is all about prosperity. Um, that shift is all about being able to take your time and discern what it is that you really want or how it is that you really feel, what it is that you really care for. So there we have the Four of Cups, which is... is sort of I'm not sure about something yet wait and see now this is kind of future it's not far into the future but it's future so it's almost like you don't want to get ahead of yourself you don't want to jinx yourself that's that's kind of the mentality that I'm picking up but where it's coming is in some ways you know that this is going to be really happy right that that you're it's leading to something that you're really it's gonna you're really gonna be very happy about and very pleased with so that's the Sun card 
let's get a moon card. Scorpio. Adjustments are required. That's what's coming to us right now. Adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. So this week, yeah, adjustments are required. There is a lot to let go of. There is a lot to release. Um, I think it's March 9th that we have a new moon in Pisces. So it's in preparation for a new moon, release everything from that full moon. And then, okay, let's get dig into the nitty gritty. I feel like I have enough suggestions. What is this all about for Scorpio? What is this all about? Um, something had shit, some, some, so stabilizing, stabilizing from, you didn't know, you weren't sure there was some maybe economic, fin like a financial, robbing Peter to pay Paul, having to be extra conservative when it came to your finances. Um, not necessarily bad, but sort of juggling things and just trying to find balance. Things were a little bit out of whack. You don't need to do that anymore. You don't need to settle anymore. You don't need to settle for what was available for you, Scorpio. That's not like that's off the table now. It's almost like that's what you have to adjust to. You have to adjust to knowing that you don't have to settle for for what what was available. Now you can be more selective. You can be more choosy. There's a sense of it's already showing. Like I I I can I have the power now to choose. You're shifting into um, a time a time span of. Being the one who has the upper hand. Right? And being the one to select and choose and dare I say be in more control of the situation. And also be spotlighted at the end of this road. Okay. That's a little bit what this is about. Scorpio. There's heartbreak, but it came out with this, the tower. Why did that come out? The devil. You're afraid of everything falling apart and ripping your heart out. So that's why you don't want to rush ahead or get too cocky because in some ways you are still very nihilistic and feel like the worst is going to happen and that's why the fear is here that's why the fear is here this is like the worst this is like the the worst trifecta i could ever come up with Like some like I, I can't let me let me let me dig down into this. Why why did all these horrible things come out? It's almost like you're afraid to let go because you're afraid somebody might destroy themselves or hurt themselves, or you might destroy yourself and hurt yourself. Somebody here has a chance to really open up their lives, but they're holding back because they're afraid it will destroy and ruin somebody else or maybe even ruin their relationship. And it's not an exchange. Remember, this is still future. So it's not an exchange. It's not, it's not required, like, like you have to be willing to break someone's heart to get this success. That's not what this is. This is, I'm afraid. This is why I'm taking my time and sort of not hemming and hawing, but being slower about this than I actually have to. Right, because I'm afraid of everything just collapsing or somebody being destroyed because I succeeded. So there's a real like reluctance here, but you you know that things are gonna things are gonna change. The towers here, things are gonna change whether you like to change them or not. And it's like, are you going to? not allow yourself to be happy and celebrate the good times in your life? 
Like, do you feel like you're obligated to continue to be miserable and not succeed the way that you you have the you not succeed to your full capabilities just so that somebody else you're afraid for somebody else because honestly Scorpio that's the worst thing that you could possibly do for somebody else is to hold yourself back and they because they then they stay stuck too and they stay lost in this fantasy land of of oh everything's everything's the way I'm comfortable but th this isn't n no no I'm like oh my god shake that off Scorpio right so please clarify God what all these horrible cards are because this is like horrible addiction brings something down and there was a major heartache. Could be somebody, like I said, doing harm to somebody else or even maybe themselves. It could be afraid that they're not going to stop. They're going to keep hurting themselves or things are just going to all fall apart. Is this something that's really going to happen? Because we started off, it was so, it was so happy, but ultimately there's this fear. That's what the devil card that comes out. It means to me that there's a fear that these are all going to fall apart and my heart's going to end up broken. The high priestess is here intuitively intuitively balance like faith what do you know no it's not gonna happen intuitively intuitively i think you really know that it's not but simultaneously you're very scared to face the reality of going through with it because you're really scared that it is the high priestess is here or maybe intuitively you've been picking up on this destruction but what is this destruction clarify what that is please what is that the eight of pentacles something that you have been working on something that's in, been in the works for a while and i think that you've participated in it what is this What is this? Please clarify, God. Please. Okay. Okay, hold on. I've got a little bit of clarification here. There's the devil again. So some sort of indulgence, temptation, like overindulging in things, the higher fan, it's, over, it's overindulgence or gluttony in some sort of pleasure. Knight of Wands could even be sexual pleasure. And then Eight of Wands is having to go without or being abandoned. So it's almost like messing around. It's almost like Scorpio, let something go now or you're going to be abandoned by it. And I think that that's what you become aware of. That's really what you're becoming aware of that, that you're like, you're going to stick around and, and it's going to, that person is eventually going to leave you because this is the, the night of wands that they're, they're impulsive and they're selfish. There's this energy of feeling like like I'm overindulging or I'm I'm going to be left alone. Eight of Swords is I'm going to be abandoned. Oh some somebody here is overindulgent, especially in sexual pleasures. And they feel like this person is going to break my heart. Meanwhile, you have been diligent and working very hard. Let me tell you something. If you know already that this motherfucker is about to break your heart, you need to get rid of them now. That's what clear out the clutter is. Or else it is going to continue and multiply. And you're going to be trying to avoid this change or the shift that is absolutely inevitable. Let's go to the extended. 